I was surprised to learn that you can mirror your Apple Watch on your iPhone. It's an accessibility feature. Not sure there are a lot of use cases for this. Perhaps the posse can muse a little bit and come up with a use case. Cool feature, though. So you go into Apple Watch settings, accessibility, and just flip on Apple Watch mirroring. Turn on uh, assistive touch, enable assistive touch if it's not on already. Turn on mirror my Apple Watch by scrolling down and enabling the mirror my Apple Watch option. Huh. I tried this out and it it totally works. I, yeah, I don't know what the 100% use case would be, but you know, brought my iPhone or my Apple Watch right up on my iPhone screen. Really? Like yep. with uh, without you're not running beta software. This is like in the current releases. It's just of part things. of accessibility. Yeah, it's yeah. Been, it's been around. It's not it's not a new feature. Accessibility seems to be the way to do it. the. You know, it, you get it's easier to touch your iPhone screen than your than your watch screen. It's particularly if you aren't running these cool ultras that Dave and I have, and then uh, uh, which has that nice bigger screen. But I think the other uh, thing is it's, it demos somebody how to you know. Here, here's how you do this. Here's how you do that. Oh, wait, that's yeah. the use case. Let's yeah. say we were doing a podcast that had a video component oh, and we wanted to show somebody how to do things on, on the our watch. Apple Watch. It, y there is no way to like show the Apple Watch on the screen of a Mac, but there is a way using QuickTime to show your iPhone screen or AirPlay like other like Zoom yeah. has. You, you can AirPlay yeah. your, your, you know, your phone to Zoom or whatever. And so you could mirror your watch on your phone and then mirror your phone on your Mac. Your TV. <laughs> to your TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To your yeah. TV. Yeah. Your reception. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah we're, in, we're heading down the inception path again. 